Welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm so happy you're here. Let's get started on today's video. Got a cup of coffee made. It is a beautiful day here in Tennessee. We've got the most gorgeous blue skies. Sun is shining. It's going to be like 80 today, I believe. I'm here for it. I'm so excited. It just makes me feel so much better to just have some nice weather. We had lots of rain last week. So I'm so excited to see some sunshine. So today's video is something I've been planning to shoot for a while and it has just been so gloomy and dreary and down and then I ended up with the flu and like I just wasn't in the mood honestly. But today I'm just gonna go around my home and show you a few new items I have picked up this year for spring. I have found some great faux stems um, that are just beautiful and so affordable. Most of them come from Walmart, some from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna show you those. In last week's video, if you missed it, be sure and watch it. It's a little Walmart shop with me, but I showed you a few Walmart finds that I picked up this year. I don't necessarily buy all new things every season, every year. I like to buy just some really classic pieces that I know I can use over and over. So we're just gonna go through my home. I'm gonna show you a few new things. If you see anything you like, be sure and check the description box. I'm gonna link anything that I can because like I said, these are really good finds. I feel like a lot of them probably will get sold out out before summer actually gets here um and then y'all stay tuned because we're gonna be working on our back deck coming up pretty soon i've already been out there i've got a new rug coming and i have been trying to clean my cushions and stuff we left them out this winter um, it is a covered patio but i still normally put all my cushions and stuff up so we're gonna see how they held up throughout the winter so we've got all that fun stuff coming up but let's go ahead and get started on today's video grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get going so first of all, I get a little bit tickled at myself because I'm so bad to leave the price tags on things. Um, for one reason is I want to make sure that I like it and then I'm not going to want to return it. So I'll leave the tag on it and, you know, just get a little feel for it for a couple of days and make sure I like it. But sometimes I'll photograph things or I'll make a reel and I'll post it and I'll notice I still have the tags. So I had to go through these stems here and pull off all of the price tags before I could get started on this video. So now that we got that all removed and under control, let me tell you about these stems. These come from Walmart. They're cherry blossom stems. I'm not going to actually take them out because y'all, these are 50 inches long. They are huge and I actually have them bent up, and I have four stems in here, so I've got them bent, and I got four shoved down in there, and so it's all just kind of um, hard to get out because the top of that vase is kind of small, so anyway, I'm not going to pull them out, but trust me, they say they're 50 inches, and they really are, so you can put these in a large floor vase. Do y'all remember this vase? I did a little DIY. I bought that at the thrift store, and I just painted it with some paint and baking soda. I've got a whole reel and a YouTube short about this, and I love the way it turned out. And these stems could not be more perfect. Y'all, they are $5 each. $5 per stem. I've got four in there. So for $20, and then I got that vase at the thrift store for $12.99. I feel like this was such a good deal. And don't worry, you probably just saw, it does look like it's in front of a door, but it's a double door and it does not open on that side. It does open on that side. We just rarely ever open it on that side. So anyway, that's my first find, $5 cherry blossom stems. And then these stems, you might've kind of seen them in the background. I really didn't know what to do with them. That's what I took out of the floor vase that I just showed you. I had these for like early spring, end of winter. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I actually took the price tag off of these, believe it or not. So I can't remember exactly what I paid, but I caught them when it was the week that they were 40% off. But anyway, I started to put them up and then I was like, I'm just gonna stick them in this basket and just kind of give it a little backdrop here. Um, I'm not certain that I'll leave them there, but we'll see. But this is 
just a little corner here in my office and I've got my big floor mirror here. That mirror also came from Hobby Lobby. And um, so then I just have a pillow in this basket. This basket was thrifted. It's huge and I only paid $5 for it. I struggled a little bit though to try to decide where to put it. And then this pillow I also thrifted. Again, here I still have the tags on it. This I just leave the tag on this to just brag about it because this is a West Elm pillow and it is new. It still has the tags on it. And I paid $9.99 at the thrift store. So that was just like one of those really great finds that made me very happy. And I just threw it in this basket. Um, and I've also got like an extra throw blanket down in there as well. But this is three stems of those from Hobby Lobby. And I did have those in the floor vase as well. So the next thing I wanted to show you, and you saw these vases last week, if you watched last week's video, these are the My Texas House vases from Walmart. They come in two different sizes. This is the larger size. I think it's the seven inch. I think it just goes by the height. Um, but it's a pretty large vase. It's around $17 for this one. And then what I have in here are just some really large um, hydrangeas. And at Walmart, they have some different colors. I chose the white ones. These are pretty big too. They're a little over three dollars each and this is just the mainstays brand i love this brand of florals you'll see some more here a little bit later in the video and then i just bent these up and actually left the stem kind of sticking up but you could always cut that off if you didn't like that look and then these are just some dogwood stems i just sort of cut them apart i think i got these at tj maxx but i've had these for several years so i can't say for sure where they came from but i just sort of cut them apart so i could stick them in with some different arrangements and then I just did three of the big hydrangeas and then I just used the dogwood branches to just sort of fill in and give it a little bit of a fuller look. I love the way this turned out. Now this is the exact same vase, the My Texas House line, but this is the smaller version of it. Um, side note, I got this coffee table at Target the other day on clearance for $104. I was pretty proud of that. But anyway, that's just beside the point. And then I just fixed up this little tray, um, simple little wicker round tray, and then I put the smaller vase. And then look at these stems, y'all. These are so pretty. What is this, uh, lavender? lilac. I'm not sure. Y'all tell me. I'll have to look it up to see exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure these stems were $1.88 each. I have three stems in this vase. It filled it out perfectly, and I just think they're so pretty, and it adds just a little pop of color here to the center of the coffee table. Now, this is another uh, bunch of stems that I got. I got all these together at TJ Maxx. This was $16.99 for the whole bunch. I'm not certain what flower this is, but it is so full and so pretty. And like I said, it was $16.99 for the entire thing. It fits perfectly in this vintage crock. And I think it goes so pretty with this picture, this wildflower picture. I actually ordered the digital download on Etsy. I'll link that for you down in the um 
description box because it's so inexpensive. You can have it printed yourself. What I did was had it printed and framed through Frame It Easy. I did a collab with them over on Instagram, and so I love it, but you could easily just buy that digital download, have it printed yourself, and frame it. You could find a gorgeous vintage frame at the thrift store. That would be so nice, but again, those stems come from TJ Maxx. Uh, talking about good deals on furniture, I found this. It is a Studio McGee side table from Target. I found it at Bargain Hunt for $25. I saw that they have them back in stock at Target. Don't mind the egg chair over there. Um, I don't have everything <laughs> straightened up today. Y'all have to overlook some things. But anyway, I just wanted to point out that table. $25, but they do have it in stock now at Target if you like it. Now, I intended to have this fixed up a little bit better, but I really wanted to include it in the video, so y'all just have to use your imagination here. This is my Walmart uh, olive tree. It's so inexpensive. It's so good. If you remember, I used to have it in this little... Um, wicker basket and it was just really a little bit too small so i've been on the look for something bigger i found this gorgeous pot at lowe's i love it it looks like it's actually cement you know like a heavy pot it's not really it's lightweight but it's textured and it just has like that aged kind of vintage look and I just love it. I think it's going to look so good, but I need to get some more of the moss and I'm just going to kind of stuff some paper around it and I'm going to put the moss on top. I'll show y'all in another video once I actually get it set up, but I wanted to show you now this pot was a good price, I guess, honestly, considering how much stuff like that cost. It was around $50, but it cost more than my olive tree. Now, when I can catch the olive tree on sale, this is the six foot version and you can get it for $39.99. But all things considered, the huge pot and the olive tree would be less than $100 um, if you buy it all. So anyway, I'm going to link that pot and I'm going to link the tree. Keep an eye on it for when it's on sale. Hopefully it's on sale right now. I'll check it out for y'all, but you can get it in several different sizes. This again is the six foot, but I do have it sitting up like on a small box. So I'll probably sit it up just to give it a little bit of height, but this is the six foot and I have nine foot ceilings. Here is another good idea for some faux stems. This is the viral Walmart planter, y'all. It's it's all over TikTok, all over Instagram. This is the larger size one. These have always stayed in stock at my store. I glance back there every time I go in and they have them. A lot of people talk about them being sold out. They're not for me. I can find them in store. So I'll link it and you can check your stores. And then these stems y'all are so, so pretty. They come from Joann's Fabric. I'm not sure if I can link those online. I bought these in store, but in store they're 60% off. So they're only a little over $2 each. I have five stems in this large planter. It fills it in so nice. There I am again with the tags still on, but I think I can hide them pretty well in this one. So I don't think you would see it, but they're the prettiest like blush color. I think it just just adds just a tiny pop of color here and I've got it on one of my grandmother's doilies and I just think it's so pretty. I believe in my dining room, decorate with me for spring. I talked about I had a new rug on the way, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get to show it in the video. So I wanted to give you a little peek of it. You may have seen it if you follow me over on Instagram. This is one of the Laloy rugs. You can get these on Amazon. Again, I'll watch for a good sale on it for you. But this is the five by seven size. And this is one of the Joanna Gaines Magnolia Home collaborations. I love it because you'll see little subtle pops of color a little bit of a blue there, a little bit of like a, a camel color throughout. It has sort of a charcoal and creams and tans and grays. Like I feel like this could go with anything and I just absolutely love the feel of it. It's very soft. It has just this just subtle little detail around the edge of some fringe, which y'all know I love fringe. And it just has like that vintage look. I still have a very much farmhousey feel to my home and especially in this dining area. Um, Y'all remember I got this new dining table from Walmart not very long ago. I'm still so very impressed with it. It's only $230 and I just think it is such a nice quality dining table. I'll have it with four chairs but you actually could fit six chairs with it 
And again, here's just a good look at the rug. I'll link all this for y'all. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like this rug in this space? I was a little bit worried it had a little bit too much gray, but let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'm gonna give you another quick little look at the table because I feel like this table very much looks different in person than it does on the website photos. So I want to give you a little bit of a more realistic look of the color. This is one of my favorite finds lately. I showed it to you also in last week's video. It's this little scalloped dough bowl from Walmart, $14.97. When I saw it, I did not buy it. And it was like, I just couldn't get it off my mind. Like I had to have it. It was just one of those things. I loved it and I had to have it. So I went back, or actually I put it on my gro grocery pickup order because I always do Walmart grocery pickup. And you know, you can just add anything like that to your order. So added it on, did it on a pickup. And then I added this little geometry towel. Have y'all ever gotten towels from them? They are so, so soft. This was my first one from them, but they have like all these different patterns and they come out with new releases for the different seasons and holidays. Anyway, they are so cute. Speaking of scalloped, I don't know why, but lately everything scalloped is just a hit for me. I love it. I picked up this rug from, I ordered it from Amazon and I needed a new rug to go in and out of our back door here. And I know immediately I would need these. So I grabbed a new set of these. These are so good. They're like eight or nine bucks. You get a set of four, just put them on the four corners. I'm telling you, this thing will not move. It does not hurt your floor. It actually sticks to the rug and then it just grips to your floor there. My kids run in and out this door. This is where they go in and out all the time. And so it does not move. They are the best things ever. If you don't get the rug, you need the grippers if you have a rug like this that doesn't have any kind of backing. But I just love the scallop detail of this. I'm a big fan of jute. I just think it is so pretty. Again, I got this on Amazon and I'll link it for you. These pillows are always a favorite of mine in the spring and summer. I've actually had these for a few years now. They came from Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens. They just have some really nice texture to them. They have the tassels. They have a very boho look. Um, I have them in cream. I don't think I have them anymore in cream, but I did once have them in cream. And then I got this coral color. I have two of them. I'll throw them on my couch. I'll throw them on my bed for this time of year. And then I decided just to put this one down here in my entryway table. Um, it's a large pillow. I was looking for the size here. I think I settled on it was 20 by 20. So it's a large pillow. It does not have a zipper, so you can't remove the zipper. But these are like less than 20 bucks. I want to say maybe 17. I'm pretty sure when I bought them a few years ago, I paid like less than $15. But anyway, they're just a really nice color for spring if you want to add in just a little pop of color. Okay, and one more thing I want to show y'all that I got recently. Now, I've been burning these candles for a very long time. It's the Antique Candle Co., but I recently did a little collab with them over on Instagram, and so I got some of the new spring scents, and I picked, like, all of the fruity scents, the first one, and I think this one is my favorite out of these, is the Sweet Lemon. It just smells so clean. You know, like when you clean, and you, then when you get done cleaning, you just want to light a candle, and like that signifies the house is clean, you better not mess it up. The Sweet Lemon to me is just like the cleanest, freshest scent. So anyway, I will link these. There's a fly flying around my head, y'all. This one, Pineapple Coconut, it's gonna be my scent of the summer, I think, because it smells so much like summer. It is so, so good. And then the other two I got were just like classic spring, summer scents, Country Pear and Georgia Peach. And they smell exactly like what they say. They just smell so clean and fresh. They're so good. But anyway, I'll link these for y'all if you're interested. Mm -hmm. That is it for today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I actually managed to film all that and still have a little bit of coffee left. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this coffee, get this edited. Y'all let me know down in the comments, what do you wanna see coming up? We have pretty much got the house decorated for spring. Like I said, we'll definitely be working on the back deck, y'all. We've got some work to do this year. We have an above ground pool. I don't know if you remember my video from last year. We had to do a little bit of work around the deck. Well, this year, 
The pool had some damage in a storm over the winter, and also we're gonna need a new liner. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna need to do. What I would love to do is put in an in-ground pool, but I have been pricing those, and I just don't think that's gonna be in the cards for us. We've enjoyed our above ground. We've had it for 10 years, and we've enjoyed it so much. The boys love it, we love it. So we're probably gonna end up replacing the whole pool. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned, I will take you along for all of that. But let me know what you'd like to see coming up. I'm hoping to get in some thrifting trips in the next little bit. I've not been to the thrift store in ages, I feel like, and I wanna take you along. We'll go do some thrifting. Let me know if there's any stores you'd like for me to shop in and look around. I'm pretty much done buying spring stuff unless I buy some stuff for outside. So, cause y'all know we are on a budget over here. So I hope you will come back. I do upload a new video every week. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. Just let YouTube know that you enjoy my videos and you wanna see them and they'll let you know when I put a new one out. So y'all come back next week and I'll see you then. Bye.